All right. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to say welcome. Um, this is Tracy um, from Brand Co. And we're going to talk today about your piggyback blog. Um, today's specific webinar was going to cover um, bringing your e-agency website uh, pages over into your piggyback blog so that we can properly prepare for that potential move over the next year into your MyKW site from that e-agency platform that's going to be um, going away over the next um, year or more. Uh, around this time next year, we probably won't be utilizing that platform at all any longer. So it's good to have, be prepared and get as much done as possible in the beginning so that you're ready to move over um, and make that transition as easy as possible for you and for us. Um, that's why we're trying to do as much as possible now. Okay, so last week we covered the Jetpack plugin. If you weren't here for that um, webinar, we do have it recorded along with all previous um, webinars. They have all been recorded as is today's. So if you ever miss a webinar, don't fret. Um, it will be up on our YouTube channel. So if you ever want to know when our YouTube channel gets updated with new content, you can subscribe to that area. So if you go to Brandco, there's a usually a button if you go to our channel, which is youtube.com slash hellobrandco. And at that place, you're able to subscribe if you are logged in onto your YouTube account. Um, and at that time, you'll be able to see when new things are added um, a little bit more easily. Okay, so the perfect place to start is an e-agency website. Um, when it comes to an e-agency website, you know you're given a lot of default content in there and that you're wanting to have um, the ability to be able to edit those pages as well. In the past, we've had a lot of pages where we're not actually able to um, get into and to change. Um, in the past, like the page called Career Tour, I've been asked as far as this page to be able to go in and edit it or if it's had um, incorrect spellings or bad grammar on them and if they want to change it. Unfortunately, these, this is a default page that we have no control over. But with the glory of the piggyback blog, we're able to make this page all over again and put in what we want and then relink it up in our menu so that it's easier for us to manage in the future. Now, there's a lot of stuff coming up with our piggyback blog that uh, people have been taking advantage of since Megacamp, and that would be called Straight to WordPress. So we've been building out a lot of actual websites lately on WordPress directly, meaning it's on our piggyback blog rather than on the e-agency system. So you're going to be able to utilize that menu if you want. So if that's something that you're interested in, let us know, and we'll see what we can do as far as helping you out with that, because the more people we have on that, the easier it's going to be to move. Um, to your MyKW um, website whenever that gets launched because it is a WordPress platform just like your piggyback blog is. But you do have to have a responsive refresh in order to be able to make that move because the Playster, aka the MyKW website, is a responsive website. So if you have a standard refresh, that cannot be transferred over. If you have additional questions on this, I'm probably going to send you to your account manager. At that point, you'll get the full story. You, most of you know that I'm mostly tech, and I'll give you what I know as far as the technical side of things, but they're the guys that know the ins and outs. All right, so this page is something we can't edit on eAgency, so it would be something that was beneficial to us to just go ahead and remake and display the information that we want to people that are, were, are wanting to join KW or my team. So if we go to our piggyback blog, we all know how to log in. If you do not, I know I've covered it in almost every single webinar, and I can be more than happy to walk you through it again, but we have numerous tutorial videos that will show you how. So once we've gotten into the back end area, if we want to recreate a page from eAgency, we're going to do that in the pages area. Now, if you see this version, it's the same as if you have the default versus the basic. Basic also has the pages opportunity for you to click as well. And if you like one um, layout better than the other, you can switch between the two by the little toggle area at the bottom of the page. So I'm just going to continue on so far at um, basic because it looks a little bit easier and it's a little less overwhelming. 
So we're going to go create a page. And we're going to call this our join the team page. And if even if we wanted to use the exact same information that we used on the original website, that's fine. We can do that. So let's just go ahead and grab that content that's already on the career tour page. So let's click this, go ahead and copy it. Because we're copying and pasting something from a website, it's always better to just paste that in in the text area. That what this does is it allows for um, us to get a clean version of that content rather than all the extra code that comes with it. See, it's not linked any longer. It doesn't have any bold areas. In difference, let me show you. If I pasted it inside this area instead, let's go into text, and you can see all this code came over with it. We don't need all that. Our website has its own code. It knows what like what font and what color you know the paragraph should be displayed as or link should be displayed as or you know anything like that and we want our website to look the same all the way through so we don't want any of that random formatting to come in so when you paste go ahead and paste under the text tab and when you go back over to visual you can see more about how it actually displays visual is like your ability to see how it actually looks now, it won't always display in the exact font or exact point that that font's supposed to show as, as that, um, that kind of text that you're showing, like paragraph or header or anything like that in this area, but you can always look at it when it goes live on your website. So, um, if we're going to change out again this information in this area, we definitely can. If we wanted to add a, a contact form in this area, we could do that as well. Um, and instead of that content information, contact information going into our eEdge system, it will go directly to our email address. Next week, I'm going to be going over the contact forms in full. So today, I'm just going to input one. So if you see that you want to include contact forms, then definitely join me for next week's webinar because I'll go into it fully then. So if I go ahead and I'm just going to add a form in here, and put it in place. So now I want to go ahead like it was originally. I want to make sure that this is a link. So I'm highlighting it and making a hyperlink out of it. And I'm going to make it open in a new window so that people aren't taken away from our website. And just to spruce things up, if you don't have this second row in your toolbar showing, then you need to click this button here that says toolbar toggle. What that does is it brings out what we like to call the kitchen sink. So I'm going to highlight this area and make it look a little different by making it a heading 3. So it's, headings are usually going to be more bold and slightly a bigger font than what your paragraph text is, which is like your normal text. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this page, my new join the team page, and I'm going to go ahead and view it. All right, so yay. There's our new page, our contact forms in place. Like I said, if you want to know more about the contact forms, definitely join me next week or visit our previous webinar that's uploaded on our YouTube channel because I have went over it at least once so far. So this is our page. Yay, ta-da. If we wanted to add a photo, we could have done that because you know we know how to at least blog now so that we can add photos. People love photos, right? Um, and people can get information here if they wanted to be like, hey, um, I want to know more information about joining your team. Um, I have a couple of sites that are adding, you know, pictures of their team as well and trying to encourage people to um, reach out in the first five or, ease, or like for free consulted or something like that. A lot of people are trying to make this a better page for their business. So, um, if you wanted to write your whole own area inside of here, you definitely could. You didn't. You don't have to copy and paste what you already had on your KW site. I'm literally just doing that to quick and easily have content on this page that we're we're making. So, if you are are using eAgency still for your menu, which most people are, then we're going to have to go into eAgency in order to be able to change that. Um, 
change that page name. So um, I know that Sharon is in here, and that's the reason why I'm utilizing Jules Farmer's website. So I'm going to make a quick change to their menu. In that About area, I'm going to change out the Career Tour page. Actually, you know what? Let's just make this on Jules on Jules um, piggyback blog real quick so that they can actually get something out of it. So let's just go in here. And I already have that stuff copied and pasted from earlier once I get into that piggyback blog. Of course, whenever I'm on a webinar, everything seems to run slow, right? That's kind of how it goes. Come on. Okay, there we go. So now I'm in Jules' um, piggyback blog, and we're going to make the meet the team or um, join the team page. Join the team. I'm going to put that content back in here. I don't know if they have any forms or not in here yet. Let's just go ahead and put it in there. It looks like they do. And let's make this look better. Kitchen sink, heading three, and link this up. Now this page will be edited, editable um, by Sharon or uh, Jules if they wanted to come in here and change out the verbiage in this. So it's kind of already there to go for them. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And if we're going to go in and add this to her e-agency, I'll have to log in to her mykw.kw.com website. So I'm going to take the screen away for a second and grab those logins. Hopefully the ones I have work. And everybody knows how to access their original e-agency website, I do hope. Um, there's an admin tool area where you're able to maintain everything that's in there, add content and so forth. So let's get this past the page that I need to get it to, and then I'll be able to show you more. Okay. And here we go. So if you are on your e-agency website, if you've logged into mykw.kw.com, if you go on our technology and click e-agency, agent websites, you can click on this button here or this button here and open up this page here, which is your agent website admin tool. So if we're wanting to add things to the menu or take things away from the menu, we're going to do it under section 3.0 inside of section 3.1. This is your e-agency's navigation editing area. So you can see all the areas that she has currently on her website. These are going to be your top level links or your category names. So if I look under here and I look at about, it's going to tell me these are the things that show up underneath that category. So in, in difference to that about, and these are underneath the About category. So if I go under Additional Links, those are going to be the, all the links that are either top level or they're going to show underneath the category. So the, the, the page that I'm going to be replacing is going to be the one that says uh, Career Tour. So if I don't want this to show any longer, un especially not underneath the parent category of About, then I will click for it to say no, where it says publish, and then click save. So if you want to see if that worked, we go over to our category area again and click on about, and that, that page is no longer showing. So if we want to add our join the team page in difference to this, and we want this to show up under about, we click on that through the parent category area. And we want to show us the same window because our website looks like it's the same website um, as our piggyback blog. So we don't want another tab to open unless it's leading our users away from our website. So if we go and grab this meet the team page that we made, let's go ahead and click view page so we can see it. 
All right, this is it, blog.julesfarmer.com slash join a team. So we're going to copy this URL, and we're going to paste it where it says URL here. And click Save. Now if we go back under here, click to edit a category to see what else in there. Ta-da! We've replaced it with join the team. Fantastic. Uh, I believe about about jewels could even like, about jewels could even be replaced. Testimonials could be replaced. Any of these really can be, and that's how you would do it. You would add in the link, give it a name. If you want it in a category, all your categories are going to be listed here. Or you can make a new one. If I wanted to add a new category, I would do it under additional category, and you would need it need for it to say add new category and then you would just write the name that you're wanting to add there or sometimes whenever we set up menus we will hide a category because we want this to look straight and to the point like as if that's exactly what's going to be displayed on your website so if there's ever a category you're like what where is it I need it to show up it's probably in here and if it is, just like, um, for instance, the additional category is not showing right now. So if I click on additional, you can see that it says publish. No. That's why that's not showing at the time. So if we look at the website again, let's go ahead and refresh JulesFarmer.com. And once it's refreshed, we go under about. You'll see that the join the team page is located inside there now. So if we click join the team, it's going to take us to that blog page that we've created. Eventually, when my internet wants to do it. <laughs> Everything seems to be running a little bit slow for me while I'm in the webinar today, so I do apologize. I will try to talk over most of these kind of things, but um, when you're waiting on something, it sometimes seems like it takes forever. So there we go. This is our page that we created. You can see that at the top by the, looking at the URL. It says blog.julesfarmer.com slash join the team. And ta-da, there we go. If you wanted to do this with any of the other pages, you could do so as well. Now, if you have any, if you happen to have the WolfNet WordPress plugin, you could go about bringing that over as well and utilizing your blog for your search and for your um, for your featured properties and things like that. Now, that's completely up to you because your WolfNet URLs will work until um, it's time to move over to the MyKW website system. And, of course, a lot of that kind of stuff is not completely flushed out, so there's no telling what's, what all is going to be available and not available and what the restrictions are going to be. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to utilize um, the search manager inside of your WolfNet plugin in order to create a um, specific search that involved like just your agent ID, then you could do so by adding it here and then taking that and saving that search and then inputting it on a page and then linking that up as your featured properties. That's totally possible. You can do that. Um, if there are pages that are within pages, you can do that as well and linking to and from each page from there. Now, if you are utilizing um, a WordPress plugin, or not WordPress plugin, but a straight to WordPress website, um, if anyone in the, the webinar is doing that currently, could you, could you just give me a little bit of notice so that I know for sure that we have someone in here so I need to cover it, um, that your website went straight to WordPress? Um, so that I can, you know, make sure that you're aware of how to change these pages out because most of these pages are already moved over. Um, does anyone have any current questions? If you're lost at all, this is a perfect time for us to go back and cover the, the section that I missed or didn't, didn't uh, discuss quite well enough. I'll keep talking, however, while y'all are um, typing up or as, as asking any questions. Um, one of the big things these days um, is adding community pages, and I always recommend adding those pages to your piggyback blog rather than to your e-agency. And the time to make that happen is is definitely upon us. Like if you're going to add any kind of like special content 
to your website, I definitely recommend doing it through your piggyback blog so, this, so that this content can more easily be moved from your um, from your web from your piggyback blog to your my KW site. So. Um, I recently got a question from Sandra that says, um, would the new website, will WolfNet go away as a property search? I honestly cannot say that um, as of right now. I mean, we don't know what things Placer will allow us to do. I do know that Placer does have their own IDX that does display quite beautifully. Now, we're not forcing people to get off of our piggyback blog platform, which does allow for you to be able to use that WolfNet plugin. So I believe whenever the time comes for the, for the transition or the move, um, to do, to play with both and see which one you're actually wanting to utilize and make your decision then as far as whether or not you want to go to the placer site or um, stay on the piggyback blog platform. It's still very unknown territory at the moment because the websites that are people that people are being given by placer at the moment aren't specialized with everything that the KW placer sites are going to be equipped with. So once the official rollout happens, we'll know more. But um, I would say at that time, just go ahead and make your decision then. OK, so if we wanted to make a community page, like the ones that Jules has on, in, in place on here, we would do that inside of our piggyback blog. So if we go to her Corona community, she has a very nice photo of Corona. She has information, which I always will preach to you that you need to be utilizing as much content as possible because the, I used an excellent um, analogy with a, a coworker the other day to help them explain what SEO is. SEO is a bunch of, like, put it this way, there's a lot of spiders on the internet that are being sent out by, the, by way of the search engines. Now, those spiders crawl all over this content, and this content is being read by these spiders. However, these spiders can't look at your photos. They can't um, watch your videos. But they're taking in all that information that your website is displaying in the form of content. So at that point in time, all those little spiders are gathering all that stuff. Search engines are deciding whether or not your content is better than someone else's content or that it has more information about what this person is asking a question about. And if it does, then it's going to give your website or your web page more so that web page URL as a recommendation for the person that has asked that question. So the more content you add to your website, the better off you are. And then on top of that, she has her Corona Homes for Sale through, who, through her WolfNet plugin, and it displays lots and lots of properties, and each and every one of these properties is listed inside of her website as well. So um, if we have any other additional questions, I would love to take them now. If not, um, we can try to keep going with what's important around here and um, go from there. These buying and selling pages are very popular to be moving over to um, your piggyback blog because um, inside here, there's just kind of a page that has uh, links to other, other pages within the website that are pages that you can't manipulate or add any kind of content to. Um, so a lot of people do have specific buyers or sellers information that they, could, they should be or could be giving out by way of their website. So at that time, you're able to make these pages and add them to it if you would like and, and internally link them as well. Or um, just having that information or um, having some links to some PDFs that you um, feel like any new buyer or a buyer needs to have before they begin the process. Um, and the same thing goes for sellers. I see a lot of, whenever it comes to sellers, um, a lot of information about staging your home and how the, how best to get a curbside appeal. But we all know that when it comes to our website and our blog that we should not all, it should not be all real estate all the time. People are searching for information um, regarding things like what's going on in these communities that people are going to be living in and they're going to be searching for those things and eventually you're going to become the authority on that information and that's the best thing that you can become, especially um, as a realtor, because people rely on your information of that 
area in order to know whether or not they should buy or sell this home there and you know the uh, everything else that's involved with that so I hope that everybody's kind of got a adjusted an idea as far as how to manipulate this menu um, and make changes to it uh, once you've added in pages in your piggy backlog my recommendation is to add as many pages as possible into your piggyback and um, have them all completely ready to go before you start messing with the menu the menu can be a bit of a bear if you find that you have messed it up don't worry just go ahead and send me an email and we'll work through it together. It helps me out a lot better if you let me know what order and what links you're wanting in your menu. If you have um, kind of, you know, manipulated it and it's not how it how it should be any longer um, because I can't remember how it was before you, before you moved anything. So I'm always here for you and my email address is Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y at brandco.com. You can always schedule a specific time to, sp to speak with me if you have any additional questions or need one-on-one um, -on -one time. I'm always available. And you can schedule a time with me by going to calendly.com slash bco underscore Tracy. And if you ever have any additional questions, they most likely can be answered by our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash hellobrandco. And you can always stay up to date with our Facebook page at facebook.com. Hello, Brand Co. So I appreciate everyone that was able to attend the webinar today. And I look forward to hearing from you again next week where we're going to be discussing um, how to create lead capture forms and adding them to our websites and our pages. All right. Well, have a great day, everyone.